Ah, here we are once again with the evil scientist Bob and his assistant Wilson. Now, you're probably wondering, where are they? Well, Bob has decided to pack it up and get away from the city, and he's moved out to some sort of volcano lake. Oh boy, this is a cool new map, and today we're going to be doing some, I guess you could say, testing, aka we're going to set up a battle arena over the, uh, the fire here, and we're going to watch people fall into it. Which, by the way, hold on, we got to do a little test here. You can see that Wilson is alive, so Bob's just going to walk up, and we're going to test uh, the lava. So Bob's just going to go, eh. Oh, oh, no, they both just fell in. Oh, uh, yeah, this is fine. I guess that's kind of karma for Bob. Well, at least you get to see what the lava does. Well, that didn't go quite as planned, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, Bob's up here. He's got his little throne. He's got his ice cream. Uh, Wilson's just hanging around down here. And uh, you know what? We're ready to uh, start up the battle arena. So there's one more addition I'm going to have to add to this if the fights aren't quite as entertaining as I want them to be. But we're going to hold off on that. So what we have, we have two platforms here. And as you can see, the top's anchored, but the bottom isn't. So these things move, so as the characters go around and fight each other, uh, there is a chance that they're just going to fall through one of the cracks into the lava. Also, we have this thing. Uh, if you get too close to the end, uh, you're going to get yeeted off the side. And if all else fails, we can electrify the whole platform. Now, I'm going to add something here in a little bit, and it's probably going to be like a fan. That way, if I'm getting bored, Bob can click a button and just yeet the, uh, the contestants off the platform. Now, you're probably wondering, why is Bob doing this? Well, he's doing it because uh, he wants to. That, and he needs, uh, he needs a new army, so he needs to know who he needs to clone. Uh, so we're going to figure out who the ultimate warrior is. Yeah, it's totally a legit story for this. Also, Wilson doesn't look very happy. Uh, can we get an F in the chat for Wilson? Maybe we could get some likes for Wilson to pay for his medical bills. So uh, maybe hit that like button uh, for the medical bills. And if you don't hit the like button, you don't like Wilson. Okay, so for the first match, we're going to do two humans versus each other. So this should be a fairly even competition. Uh, we'll see if these are any good. Wait, uh-oh. There's a little crack there. Don't fall in it. Uh-oh, wait, why is this one running? Wait, where are you going to run to? Uh-oh, uh okay, here we go. Uh, so you got human number one and you have human number two. Which one do you think is going to win? Uh, they're just swinging their arms wildly at each other. You know, they're not that strong, but I'm hoping somebody's going to knock somebody off this platform. Oh, it's getting close. Okay, so human number one's almost off. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're looking at here. I mean, this is kind of a pathetic fight. Uh-oh. Oh, he goes. oh no, they both fell in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I can almost hear their screams. And, oh, they're still fighting. Like, look at that. How are they still going at it? Uh, on... How have they not died yet? Oh, okay. I think death's inevitable here. And you know, human number one is actually on top here. I, I feel like human number one might have just won uh, something. He's uh, he's kind of dead though. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Hmm. We need another uh, little uh, combination here. Maybe we'll try androids. Also, by the way, they've added new injectors for the androids. So we could probably uh, maybe supercharge them. Oh, there's a bouncy one. There's a chaotic pink one. Wait, what does that mean? Uh, okay, let's do a, a chaotic pink one on each of them. All right, so we're going to stick that right there. Actually, let's just stick it on their head here. That way we know it sticks in. And uh, let's see what this actually does to them. Okay, waiting for it, and... Oh. Wait. What was the point of that? It just made their heads explode. Okay, next fight. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go with the Ultra Strength syringes here, and we're going to see who wins. So here we go. Boom and boom. They're both injected, and uh, let's let them fight to the death. Alright, here they go, and... Uh oh, no! <laughs> you got to be kidding me! Oh! Wait, can they... Wait, I don't think they can actually die in the lava. I didn't even test that. Uh, the androids can't melt? No, they're still trying to fight each other. Uh, hold on, let's try a normal android. Can they even melt? I mean, this seems like this might be the ultimate thing to use. Are you in there? Oh, they're, they're perfectly fine. They float. <laughs> I feel like we've already settled the competition here. All right, let's go even more insane. 
Uh, maybe we'll do a group of androids versus humans potentially. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna group these as a team and we're gonna have these over here be a team and we're gonna see if they uh, they fight each other. Uh-oh, one just walked off. Why did you do that? Okay, the one guy just didn't wanna participate at all in this. Okay, we're good. All right, here we go. The androids are heading in. Uh, you guys might wanna actually fight. Do they not fight the androids? Uh, here, you know what? Just let him go berserk here. I, I feel like this might be a failed attempt. All right, go berserk. Uh, have fun. Oh, you're just getting pushed. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we all knew that wasn't going to work, did we? Yep. I uh, saw so all the androids floating in the lava down here. This is kind of weird looking. I feel like I should probably clear these out. Um... So, I want to say maybe humans are ruled out of the equation, unless we make a fireproof human. That might be a thing we need to do, which I think I've got the syringe for that. Okay, so for our next combination, we have, hold on, let's activate the claws. We've got Wolverine versus Deadpool here, and by the way, neither one of these can actually die. Oh, you guys need to be on the same platform? Uh oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, they both regenerate. So wait, ooh, what happens? Did they, oh, they're floating. What the? Um, Han, can you guys come back up and fight? Uh, they're both fireballs. They're actually both fighting right now, by the way. Oh, let's stick them back up on the platform. <laughs> what the heck is happening? Okay, this was an odd combination. Um, <laughs> uh, is this even working right now? Um, no, it, it doesn't. Oh, it's definitely not working. Um, we should probably, here, let's just toss these over to the side. Okay. All right, so we shouldn't use things that can't die. Uh, you know what? It's fine. They're just going to float to the top of that. Let them uh, fight up there. This, this is okay. So Bob has gathered some more humans. He's not actually satisfied with the result of this battle arena at all at the moment. So we're going to yeet that one off. There you go. Uh, that one's burning. And with the rest of the humans, we're just going to go, Wee! <laughs> Oops. Okay, so... We've got to up the ante here. We need to have some sort of wind system. Uh, I was going to use the, the fans to blow people off the platform, but I feel like maybe we can use the fans in order to make these things sway and make the arena a little bit more deadly. Okay, so the platforms are ready to go. The, uh, the bobs are all running around. They all seem confused. It's actually making them sway more, which this is kind of cool, but I don't feel like this fan is working enough here. Oh, geez. Everybody just jumps now. Uh, we need to get two more superpowers up here, and then uh, we'll go ahead and maybe turn this on to full and see what happens. All right, so we have two SCP-096s here, and what we're going to do, we're going to pump them with the uh, the glowing adrenaline syringe, and we're going to let them attack each other, and if I'm not satisfied with the results, we're going to turn the fan on to, like, ultra strength, because reasons. So let's get a couple of these bad boys out right here, and we'll just let them drop in on the heads here. Here we go, and resume. Up. Oh. Well, somebody got injected. Oh, okay, they're already coming after each other. Uh, wait. Wait. Wait, what's happening? Oh, you know what? They're getting pulled towards the fan. I think I need to reverse that around. Yeah, that didn't work at all there. Hold on. So, if we were to put somebody up on this again... Yeah, it's sucking him towards him. So, if we'd go... Hold on, let's do this in slow-mo here. Let's go... We... Oh! Okay. That's what... Oh... Uh-oh. What happened to Bob? The platform he, he was on is gone, and all is left is his ice cream. Uh, <laughs> there's a chance that Bob got it. Oh. I bet you one of these is Bob. <laughs> Oops. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's everything's okay. All right, let's just go ahead and turn this off here. We might have to do a little reset of the arena here. Okay, so the fan is reversed. Before we put 096 back up there, let's go ahead and turn this on. So, it's slightly pulling it. Yeah, there's a huge difference between the charged fan and the not charged fan. So, Han, let's go slow-mo. Let's go ahead and charge this bad boy. Okay, so now it finally blows him that way. That's kind of what I was wanting. It's a little OP, but it, it's fine. Uh, it, it works. Okay, so I think we've learned something here. I think we've learned that the two floating platforms actually isn't the best idea. Uh, because that little gap that it creates while being fun and watching people fly into the lava, uh, we're not getting any really good fights. So the fan's just going to be used as a way to eject uh, the opponents if they're not fighting good enough. And uh, we're going to bring out the SCP again. So let's go with the 2096s and let's go ahead and pump them with the adrenaline syringe. 
So SCP-096 number one's on the left and number two's on the right. So vote. Who's going to win the fight here? Okay, let's go ahead and tick them off. There's that one there. I'm sorry, buddies. This is going to hurt. Uh, does this even do anything to you guys? You're, you're basically humans, right? Uh, hold on. Do they act like humans? So they can go berserk, right? Oh, okay. Uh, something's happening here. Uh, I'm not really sure what, but it seems like the, uh, the glowing syringe actually isn't working. But maybe they're going crazy here with the adrenaline. I mean, they look kind of adrenaline. What was that? A flaming body just flew by. Was that Bob? Oh, that was Bob again. It's fine. All right, so they're fighting. Uh, not much progress seems to be made. Oh, they're biting each other. Okay, they're going up to the light. They're coming back down. I don't know what's happening. Okay, you know what? Bob's bored. Let's go. Whee! <laughs> uh, <laughs> where did they end up? Okay, they're gone. You know, Bob's been searching for the ultimate warrior here, and he's come to realize that the uh, the battle arena over the lava, while being entertaining, is not finding his ultimate warrior. So I think for the remainder of the episode, we're just going to do some testing. So I'm sorry, Bob, we've got to do this. We're going to unfreeze everything. And oh, here comes the battle arena down into the lava. There goes Bob. Say goodbye to Bob for now. Uh, his ice cream just got flung into the lava. Oh, wait a minute. I have a much better idea. Why don't we get ships and put them in the lava and see if they uh, can actually withstand the lava? All right, so the first thing we're gonna try, we're gonna try the cruise ship here. So this one should be able to withstand the lava because it is made mostly of metal. So let's go ahead and drop. Oh. Okay. I take that back. The cruise ship does not do well with lava. What the heck? Okay, this lava map is amazing, by the way. So stuff actually does sink. It's weird because the humans and all that, they'll turn to bones and they'll kind of stay at the top, but that actually went down to the bottom of the uh, the old uh, lava ocean thing that we have here. Wait a minute. All right, let's try this, uh, this battleship real quick. What does it do? By the way, this is the battleship. This is one of the most massive things I've ever seen. We totally have to put some people on here just to see if they survive. Okay, we're gonna stick them all over the place here. This is fine. All right, so I did notice there is explosives in this thing. So I think this thing's gonna go kabooey. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh no. Oh, I think I just froze everything. That was not a good idea. Oh, I think it's coming back. Uh, we've created some sort of massive beam here. So sticking ships in the volcanic map is not a good idea. What is happening? Hold on, can I zoom out here? That's the whole map zoomed out. That's how big that fireball is. We've broken something here, folks. We've created some sort of atomic fire. Okay. Well, um, we're gonna go ahead and clear that. Okay, so experimenting with the lava map is amazing. Uh, we've gotta do more though. So why don't we send a bus full of people down into the lava? Because why not? Why are the seats not attached? Huh, I wonder if that's a bug. Okay, we have our bus full of people here. I just wanna see what this looks like. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what it's gonna look like, but we might as well try it anyways. Oh dear. This thing's actually kind of fast. So we're gonna be in slow-mo here. Oh boy, that's cool looking. And here they go to the back and oh. <laughs> Why does it create such a big fireball? I don't understand that. Uh, okay. Yeah, once that happens, it just lags the whole thing. Oh, look, it's heating up. It's actually turning red. That's cool looking. Hold on, let's uh, pull it out. I feel like this is now a deep fryer. So you stick your people in and you just go whoop, and then you fry them up for a little bit, and then you just pull them up and you got fresh, crispy people. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay. That wasn't fast enough. I know I have a rocket bus creation. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I made an episode where I made a rocket bus and I'm trying to spawn it in. It says it might cause problems. Oh no, this is it. Yep, I wonder how long ago this was. Yeah, everybody's strapped in nice and tight. So what we're gonna do, we got the rocket bus here. And what? What just happened? Okay, let's uh, do another take of that. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by the exploding bus, we've got a rocket bus here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add a ramp. That way we can see if we can clear this. Is there another side to this? Oh, there is. Wait, this is gonna be the ultimate stunt. Do you think we can clear this? 
That might be a thing. Hold on, let's try that. Okay, so here we go. Ramps in place. Let's go ahead and start it. What? What's happening right now? Oh, the ramp's now on fire and it's poking in the water. Or I guess I should say the, the lava. Oh, this makes it even more fun. Hold on, let's do this. All right, here we go. Rocket activation is now and the bus is... Is there a parking brake on this? Uh, brake engine? No, I think it's actually... Oh, disengage parking brakes. Yeah, we don't need those right now. Uh, we need to have a free moving bus here. All right, here it goes. This thing's actually kind of slow. A lot slower than I pictured it. Oh, we are totally screwed. By the way, the ramp's no longer on fire, so that's a thing. Okay, the bus is picking up a little bit of speed, but it's not enough here. Oh, let's lift it a little bit. Can we make it take off? Why is this not enough? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, they might actually be safe. Okay, I know how to fix this. We're totally not strapping a generator to the roof real quick just to get this thing, uh, give it a little bit more power, if you know what I mean. There we go. Actually, wrong wrong cable here. This is fine. Okay, that cable. I just hook it up real janky-like. Okay, so here we go. So now, this should work. So we might want to be following this. And let's go slow-mo. Turn it on. There we go. Wait, folks, we're going to clear it. We're totally clearing the law. Uh-oh, we're coming back down. Uh-oh. Okay, it's really laggy. Everybody's okay aboard, though, even though their arms are going through the back of their head. Oh, are those arms flying off? Wait, their arms are actually getting ripped off right now. Um, where are we going? Uh, oh no, that's the other side of the map. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and disable the rockets, please. Okay, let's see if we make it to the other side. So we're coming back the opposite way now. Is anybody still alive? It appears that nobody's still alive at the moment. Um, where are we going? We, okay, we're moving. I don't know where we're moving to, but this is happening okay here we go we're about to hit the opposite side of the map once again i think we're gonna be right at the starting point yep we're coming right down to where we took off from <laughs> so the rocket bus did not clear the lake of uh, lava there oh boy this might be one of my new favorite maps like i said this is a uh, it's a modded map it is not actually a part of the game so you have to download it from the workshop you activate it you leave the game and relaunch it and it it appears so yeah, Bob the Evil Scientist had a lot of fun. Wilson had fun. All the people that got thrown in the lava might not have had as much fun. Uh, the people on the bus didn't have fun. But I hope you guys had fun at home. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.